Now, police in the Ashanti region have launched a manhunt for four persons believed to be members of the opposition National Democratic Congress's vigilante group, the Hawks. Now, following a shooting incident at the party's office in Kumasi, the police have confirmed the death of one person with the other in critical condition at the Konfanochi Teaching Hospital. The police say they are working with both the national and regional executives of the party to get the suspects arrested. So the news is Ashanti region our correspondent Hafiz Tijani has more. Police have identified the suspect as warrior Mijima, Damos, and Abu Taliban, who are believed to be members of a pro NDC vigilante group. The Hawks, the suspects who were wielding guns, according to police, stormed the party office on motorbikes during a meeting between regional and national executives. The suspects in a scaffold opened fire, killing one Abdul Wasiu and injuring another Abdul Rahman. And Shanti Regional Police Public Relations Officer ASP Godwin Ahianyo later briefed journalist in Kumasi. The Ashanti Regional Police Command has launched investigation into a shooting incident that took place at the regional office of the National Democratic Congress here in Kumasi, which led to one person dead and another person seriously injured. A youth group within the New Patriotic Party, calling itself the Northern Youth for Peace and Development, wants the current regional chairman, Batman Samba, and other three executives removed because they supposedly hail from the newly created Savannah and Northeast regions. Now, the group wants fresh elections held to choose new executives who will truly represent the regions they come from. There is more in this report. Although the six newly created regions are only a few days old, the clamor for the realignment of positions is beginning to rear its head. Today, the Northern Youth for Peace and Development, a group within the incumbent NPP, claimed that some of the current Northern Regional Executives geographically fall within the two new regions of Savannah and Northeast and must necessarily be removed to contest for positions in their rightful positions. They mentioned the Northern Regional Chairman, Batima Samba, the Regional Secretary, Sule Sambian, Deputy Regional Secretary, Haruna Idrisu, and the Communications Director, Mohamed Issa. Addressing a press conference in Tamale, spokesperson for the group, Anyaz Ghazali, said, their continued stay in office will mar the smooth administration of party affairs in the northern region. He also explained that some of the executives are adamant to move to their regions, hence they are called on the president and the national party executives to ensure these individuals leave their current positions as northern regional executives. On his side, the northern regional NPP chairman, Batima Samba, however said he is not moving i'm not moving i'm not moving i'm going to be in northern region because he voted for me as a northern regional chairman the nanumba north municipality has been hit with a severe water crisis forcing residents to spend several hours in search of water city news is mohammed aminu alabira alabira has more The only source of water saving close to 35,000 residents of Bimbila, the capital of Nanumba North District, is the Wampu Dam. The man-made dam is located in the southern part of Bimbila. The only water treatment facility in the municipality was raised almost 13 years ago. The community is dependent on nine mechanized boreholes. However, four out of the nine are not operational. This has resulted in the shortage of water for the community. The dire station has left the people in the area to rely on water tankers, which suddenly brings them supplies. Some women in Bimbila told City News how they suffer almost on a daily basis to get water for their house chores. They also complain about the high cost of water, which is sold at 2 cd 50 pesos per gallon. Here we are facing a lot of problems with the water. Two weeks now, we did, they did not open the water, uh, the pipe for us, so we are suffering. We are buying the water a day. We can buy 5 cd, 20 cd, 10 cd to go in. While the shortage of water is negatively affecting residents, the situation seems to be a positive one for some track owners. 
who are taking advantage of the situation by converting their trucks to tankers to cash in on the plight of the people. Meanwhile, the system manager of the Bimbila water system, Ibrahim Sugri, has assured residents that his outfit is working to mitigate the situation. We are working on it. So, and then system of uh, like that of Bimbila, we don't want to rush and then next year we'll be, we'll be in the same challenges again. Now, the commander of the National SWAT Unit, DSP Samuel Zugu, has admitted that his team of personnel acted unprofessionally when they manhandled some of the nine suspects arrested during the Ayawa Subai election chaos. DSP Azugu was one of three persons who testified today before the MA Short Commission investigating the violence which left some persons injured. Regina Tinkran was there for City News. Taking his turn today, Commander of the SWAT unit at the National Security Secretariat, DSP Samuel Azugu, narrated to the Commission the basis for their deployment, which he said was on intelligence gathered. While admitting that the security operatives who assaulted the MP4 Ningo Pram Pram, Sam George, had been identified, he did not publicly reveal his identity and the circumstances which led to the attack. It was through the audiovisuals that I saw that, I, uh, I saw that um, one of my boys allegedly during questioning by the commission, DSP Azugu admitted that the men under his command acted unprofessionally in the way they handled the arrest. Now it's easy for us to take for granted our freedom until we lose it. In the following report, we'll tell you how inmates of the James Camp prison are coping with their current predicament. There's more in this report. For these inmates here, yeah, they enjoyed total freedom some five to ten years ago as they went about their day-to-day -day activities. Little did they know that their liberty would be curtailed by the state for various criminal offences. My name is Philip Ni Latte and I am here at the only adult prison in the greater Accra region which was established in 1948. Currently, it caters for male prisoners following the closure of the Asher Fort and Jamestown prisons. My mission is to find out how the inmates got here and the skills they are gathering for easy reintegration back into the society. Kofi Eidu, not his real name, was engaged in cybercrime, an offense that got him five years in prison. Though in a confined environment, he has equipped himself with skills in shoemaking. Actually, we being out there, we went to cyber fraud out there, so it's like we used to deal with the whites 